Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75077, the homing spider droid mic fighter. The set came out in the year 2015, comes with one or two pieces and retailed for $9.99. So back when I think micro fighters retailed for $9.99, now they retail for like $15.99 or something crazy, but this is one of those older versions, but let's take a closer look. So taking a first look at the set, you can kind of see the scale that it is in. It is a micro fighter, so it is like a smaller version of an existing model, which is the homing spider droid. I have a picture of it on screen. I think it's a pretty accurate representation of that. It is a little bit bulkier, but that's to be expected with microfighter sets. Taking a look at the play features of this set, starting off, you can slide the droid into the cockpit of the homing spider droid, which definitely is not accurate because I think these things are like sentient beings. Like they don't have a droid piloting them and they just like have a brain inside. But what you do is you kind of lift the droid's arms up and then you just slide them in here and then you tilt this back. Once you have them in there, you can kind of have them grip the control thing to kind of have him drive the ship, but you could also put his gun in his hand. So sort of have him fire out at enemies. Something else you can do with the gun is you can also store it in the back. Something they don't usually do with micro fighters, but they did give you some extra storage for the gun. Just slide it in here and then it kind of stores back there, which is super nice. I'm really glad they included that. Definitely not accurate, but not all micro fighters do that. They usually just have the character hold it in their hands and it's a really nice inclusion for this one to have that. The set is also really poseable. You can move the legs like this. It doesn't really work though because you can't like, it doesn't look like it's moving when you move the legs. It's just, I guess they're like this so you could pretend it's moving because like this is not a walking stance. Like I don't think it looks like that while it's walking. They just, they kind of have weird poseability, but you can move them. I guess you could have it walk like this too. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but yeah, you could, you could have it walk like that or upside down. Yeah, I don't know why they're poseable like that. The set also comes with a flick fire missile. This is this thing right here. Oh, it's very loose though. That's actually a complaint I have about this set. This piece right here is very loose. I don't really know how they can make it like more secure. Maybe put like a different connector piece there, but it's very loose. What you do is you just flick it. If you can get your finger on it. I hate flick fire missiles so much. They just hurt to launch. There we go. That actually flew pretty far, but still, it's like a big hassle to launch flick fire missiles, and I'm really glad that LEGO has updated it into like the spring loaded shooters and the stud shooters. Taking a look at minifigures in this set, the one that is included is this Geonosis battle droid, and I think he looks super cool. I don't think he's exclusive. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. I'm guessing they've used him for other things though, and he's really just a normal battle droid with the same posability. He has like a nice blaster arm. Like sometimes they come with like different arms, and this one has like the normal arm, this is the blaster arms. And I think it's nice, super cool minifigure. It's just the one problem I have with it is I would have preferred to have like a commander battle droid or like a general or whatever they're called. The ones that have like the printing at the head, like they have some extra printing because this is just a normal battle droid if, in a different colored like mold. So I don't know, it just, I wish there was something more exclusive about this because usually in micro fighters you, I mean, you don't always get an exclusive minifigure, but you get one with like kind of a lot of detail because it's the only minifigure in the set. Or that's like what my experience has been with them, but I do feel like it fits the scene. Like at least it's accurate, even though micro fighters are not known to be accurate. This is an accurate minifigure for that scene. It's now time to talk price per piece or just value basically, because price per piece isn't everything. And this set retails for $9.99, comes with 102 pieces. So that's around 10 cents per piece. It's a little bit like better than that because there's 102 and it's $9.99, but that's like nothing at all barely any difference. And I feel like the set is worth it, especially now that like these micro fighter sets are like $15.99. I think that new Mandalorian one was $15.99. I think they've dropped down back to $12.99, but I still feel like that's overpriced. I feel like this is definitely a great deal. I actually do really like the model. I don't usually like micro fighter models because you can't really do anything with them, but I feel like this would kind of work in a mock for Geonosis because it just fits really well. And I do think the minifigure is pretty good. So I'd say you get pretty good value for money here. It's about average with price per piece, but I do feel like you are getting what you're paying for. So overall, I feel like this set is a 9 out of 10. It's a really good set, really good value for money, and I say it's near perfect, I just wish the minifigure was a bit better. And also it has a flick fire missile, which is a big letdown for any set, but I don't know if this was before the time they had spring loaded shooters. I, th I don't think it is because the um, Anakin's Jedi Interceptor has spring loaded shooters. I reviewed that before. And that was in 2014, and that had spring-loaded shooters, like I said, so I don't know why this has a flick fire. That's kind of like a trait of these smaller sets, and I really wish it had maybe like a stud shooter. This might have been before stud shooters too, but I feel like the flick fire missile, it adds detail, but I really don't like those. It's just painful to use. 
like I said, the minifigure could use some improvements, but I feel like it's pretty accurate. So 9 out of 10 overall, I'd say this is a really good deal. I mean, you can't get it anymore for such a good price, but yeah, 9 out of 10 LEGO set. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of set number 75077, the homing spider droid microfighter. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.